Okay, here we have the standing hamstring curl. A couple of things I was going to think about before he gets going. Number one, you won't be able to see them, but there's some handles up here. He's going to secure himself in and down and lock himself into the machine. The foot pad itself, as you can see, just really at the bottom of his ankles. Now, before he begins the movement, he's, again, he's going to think about that, keeping that hamstring nice and tight. So imagining that someone's trying to stick a dagger in there and he's creating like a brick wall. From there, he's going to drive his heel up towards his butt. Now, as he's doing so, what he's going to think about doing, there's a pad here. He's driving his quad as hard as he can into that pad to create a bit more tension in that hamstring. You can see how his hip position as well. It's not rotating. It's nice and stable as he has coming up. From there, nice and controlled, no bouncing at the bottom. And there you have standing plate loaded hamstring curl.